Pennsylvania voters went to the polls across the Commonwealth yesterday for the primary election. And the race that got a lot of attention was the contest involving State Representative Kevin Boyle. CBS News Philadelphia's Jasmine Payute joining us now with more on the results this morning. Jasmine, good morning to you. Good morning, Janelle. Jim, that's right. The results are in, and some of them may come as a surprise. Other results, not so much. But let's start in Northeast Philadelphia, where Sean Doherty beat seven term incumbent State Representative Kevin Boyle to win the Democratic nomination for the 172nd Legislative District. The race was not close, with Doherty easily winning with more than 72% of the vote. Dockery is the nephew of former Philadelphia Union leader John Dockery. Boyle has held his seat for more than a decade, but has been dealing with personal struggles of late. Last week, he had a warrant issued for his arrest, which was withdrawn by the Philadelphia District Attorney on Monday. Voters we spoke to offered differing perspectives on Boyle. I'm hoping that change, like everybody else. He didn't campaign. Doherty was all over campaigning, so uh, uh, he was the man for, what, 12 years? So, time for him to go. Kevin, if you're listening, get the help you need. We love you, Kevin. Get better. Now, Doherty will face Republican Azaz Gill in November's general election. Gill is the president of the Burholm Civic Association. He beat Patrick Gushu, a combat veteran. Now, in West Philadelphia, we're watching a big race in State House District 10. And this morning, it's still undecided. Amin Brown, the incumbent, holds a slim lead, just about 100 votes over challenger and activist Kaz Green with Saja Blackwell in third. And for Attorney General, the AP projects Democrat Eugene De Pasquale, the former state auditor general, defeated four others, including Delaware County District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer. For the Republicans, Dave Sunday, York County's District Attorney, defeated Rep. Craig Williams of Delaware County for the nomination. This is expected to be a big and expensive race in November. Now, overall, as we've been reporting, it was a slow day at polling locations around the Philadelphia area with just about 14 percent of registered voters casting ballots, many hoping that is not the case come November. Jim Janelle. Thank you very much, Jasmine. All right. Thanks, Jasmine. In other results from yesterday in Pennsylvania, President Biden winning the Democratic primary as expected. The AP reporting he secured 93 percent of the vote with more than 95 percent of the precincts reporting. And then in the Republican primary, former President Trump with 83 percent of the vote, challenger Nikki Haley. She dropped out of the race, but her name did remain on the ballot and she earned 16 percent of the votes cast. And you can find all of the election results for all of the races in Pennsylvania on our website at cbsphiladelphia.com.